Well, I'm up bright and early with M3 to go and see Tom Clover here in Newmarket. Man's had an absolutely brilliant season training racehorses to go and win up and down the country. And we're going to go and meet the team behind the scenes. Kremlin? Um, uh, with the horses? Yeah. A year ago? Um, just over a year ago. So this was the first full season in there? Yeah. So there's no, probably no coincidence that you've had such a good year? Uh, yeah, no, it's lucky. It's a bloody nice yard. And... Do you miss having Jackie quite hands on at the moment with the horses? Um, yes. Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do, because I, I mean, you know, it's, it's, um, We'd always talk about like all sorts of things, and we still do. But it's yeah. just it's just more more with um, you know with having a child as well. So what? So this is the this is just where they so start. So we've got a couple here galloping this morning, and the rest gone over the other side of town. So um, dear old Honey, who's won a couple of times yeah, in the yeah, yeah. for us uh, this year, she's a real stalwart. We were going to think about me putting her as a broodmare, but um, she's just been quite a lot of fun. She won two decent races at Newmarket this yeah, year on yeah. Saturdays. She's a great lead horse, and um, she just seems to love it still, so. Okay, so if you sit second to Anya, okay, Anya, you lead, just an even gallop, please. Six furlongs, all right. If you, it's the first bit for this spin, okay, so you know, look after her. Such a weird feeling to this time of year, I think. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? It's sort of, we've had Champions Day now, it's horse and training, and get that done, it's sort of. But particularly this year, yeah. Did you lose any owners over lockdown? Or Touch for been really lucky. No, they've all been really good. They've been really good. Uh, I don't know. Always, every year after you sell your horse and training, and then you have sold your yearlings, you know, there's always a bit of an adjustment. Yeah. But, um, no, so we've been pretty good so far. Yeah. So yeah, dear old Honey, who loves it at Newmarket. Yeah. Um, who's so pleased she deserved to win a couple this year. And then a fully near side for Port Sunpond, first look back. Why those two together? Um, Honey is a really solid lead horse, and um, sadly, Mr. Broughton has died at their horses being sold, so we're just trying to get into a level uh. where they this horse on. So we've sold. Dear old Paul from school, we've had to sell. Uh, I didn't know um, that. He was great at Newbury that time. Yeah, wasn't he? Good at Newbury. And then, then he followed up, he, then he, two starts later he won, didn't he? He won, well, he, so he was third at Haydock on very heavy ground. Yeah. He won at um, Windsor and he won at Newmarket. Oh, he won again. Laura, okay. Yeah. Do got, you have an official assistant trainer? Uh, no, no. So, ja so because you and Jackie do it together. Me, Jackie, and Gay, my mother-in-law, Gay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we've tried to get head lads or whatever. Yeah. But it just hasn't worked. Um, what, what size team are you looking at at the moment? So we have about um, twelve riders. Right. And three or four yard staff, and um, we have. It's quite a hard time of year to say how many horses you have because you know you're about to sell a load of them and yeah. you're trying to get your yearlings in. But I'd hope we'd be around about 40 horses. Yeah. Um, you know, we started off the year with sort of 34, and I would hope we'd be around about 40 for next year. Hello. I, Naughty she Labrador. gets a dog bed in the back of her car. Yeah. That's one of those impenetrable, unchewable ones, isn't yep. it? Does she have to have those? Yeah. She chews everything. Yeah. She's very good at chewing yeah. shoes. All sorts of shoes. She's done my shoes, gay shoes, nanny shoes, Jackie's shoes, um, Lizzie's shoes, which are only like tiny little socks. Oh, you can't. <laughs> you just can't get them anywhere near them. Who was moving best, Tom? I thought you were, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd love to know what I'm looking for in that, but I have literally no idea. I just see four legs going forward and I'm like, yep, fine. Yep. It's a um, pivotal bought of Chevy Park, a two-year-old, from the full family of Strawberry Daiquiri. Oh yeah. In second. In third we have a Frankel, out of Eva's request. 
who was Mick Shannon's group one mayor a few years ago. Right. You can go up Long Hill Grass, please, carry to Brow the Hill. Okay, Long Hill Grass, Brow the Hill, please, Chloe. If you go Long Hill Grass, Brow the Hill, is that all right, Seb? Okay. These are all horses who next year should kick on. Um, and then you'll have younger horses again coming in next year. That's the, that's the dream, yeah. So, um, so apart from Celsius, yeah. um, these are all two-year-olds. Yeah, absolutely. This is my first ever book on by. Really? Yeah. So Acclamation. Acclamation. Out of Micklebury. Bought from Bally Lynch. Yeah. She's got the book one bonus. Yes. New owners called Halcyon Thoroughbreds. And who she, are? Who are they in Perotto? Right. Who he was third in the sales race um, for Marcus Dragoning and yeah, been a lovely horse. Yeah. Them. They bought him from Book Three Twenty Eight. She was yeah, Book One, thirty grand. So you know, oh, snip. represent value because you Book One both, and she's yeah. just really racy, really racy. So um, were you surprised you got her for that? Yeah. I thought I wouldn't afford her. I thought I'd just, you know, we'll go in. If I had the owner there with me, I don't yeah. think we'll get her, but, you know, she could fly. You bidding? Yeah, and I mean, I couldn't believe it. Isn't it? This is the lot we've just seen warming up. Are all going to come up here? No, so two will go up Warren Hill, and the rest will come up this long hill grass here. Um, love getting him on the grass. Joe, Rocketman's a great name for a horse. Yeah, isn't that cool? And then, so second's Road Power, and third's the Governor, so that's the Frankel. Yeah. That pull-up is it's cool, isn't spectacular. It? Yeah. What, will they do that when they come up, they, that order every time with that spacing? Or you mix it up? No, so you mix it up. So the horses in front sit a bit closer because they need a lead. And if you sit there, it just helps them, teach them along, you know, in your big open space like this. It's dependent on, on the horse, really. What did you make of Ascot? Of Champions Day? Yeah. Oh, I mean... It's the most fantastic day's racing, isn't it? You get to the start of Champions Day and it's that real excitement, isn't it? When you, get, and you think, God, this is a fantastic card of, you know, card I thought, of racing. I thought depth, I thought the field size is held up pretty well. Yeah. Okay, now. Well done. Okay. All right. Well done. Okay. She loved that ground. Okay. Got a good group of staff. Yeah. Easy to come by? Uh, taking a while to build up to it. Really good group of lads now. Yeah. Got one guy off today, got the other two. They're quite young. Really, yeah, I like having young guys. You know, I find they're hungry and they're enthusiastic, you can teach them. And... Yeah. But you know, it's, this is the thing that these horses, I mean, it's nice having those sharper two year olds you, know, you can kick on with, and as I said, we've had a few two year old winners. Um, but you're happy, you must be pretty delighted with this given what it looked like in March for example when it was right when are we going to be racing are we going to be racing I've got all these horses ready to go you must be pretty delighted with how the season's worked out um yeah no it's good Tom but you know what it's like when you're a trainer you always want more and everything like you're never satisfied you always want as soon as you've had a winner it's great for an hour or two and then you want another one do you know it's it's yeah. you always want more and there's always horses in the yard that you feel like, oh, I've got to do that with that one, and you know, hopefully that one I can do this with. And quite, I'm quite um, a stickler. I'm quite um, for little things like little details. So quite obsessive. Yeah, like so, I would if I, I, if an accident happens, I really don't mind. But if it happens a second time, I would be pretty furious. Yeah. And if I've asked someone to do something, and that hasn't happened for the second time, I'd be pretty annoyed by that because you know you're trying really really hard the whole time to have winners and to grow forward and go and these little tiny little decisions and things that go wrong can be the difference between a horse winning and losing and if the horse doesn't win then you never know that owner might not send you another one or you have another winner and someone another owner might send you one and so all the time you're trying to improve and um, get things right so that you do grow and have more winners and do well. I suppose there's a, I've got a massive fear of failure. I just want to just do well the whole time. And, um, Particularly in a training facility like Newmarket, I think. Uh, Be because if, because yeah. sort of everyone's aware of how you're doing, right? Yeah. And particularly when you start up here, you must want to do well straight away so people can know that you, know that you can train, know that you can do it. Yeah, yeah, you do, yeah. 
quite hard on yourself. You know, if you if you get something wrong, or I'm yeah very I'm yeah very hard on myself. That sort of thing. Um, I think it's something you try and train yourself to be better at. But like we're going past William Hankins' yard here now, and I'm sure a day and one master, win, or one master winning on Art Day, and you know a day winning on on Sunday, Saturday. Like he must feel fantastic. You know, the most fantastic feeling. If they don't win, you still don't feel great. Think, well, gosh, you know, you need to have Group One winners. He's a big trainer, and I need to do well. But he, he's he's done it. He's doing it. You know. I suppose you're all a uh, Mark Johnson or whoever, whoever it is. They all, all these big trainers. I suppose they always want to still do better or stay at the top. But like you say, he, it's such a great leveler that he might. That's in the public eye. Those winners. But something might have happened on the gallops this morning, or something might have happened this morning, which suddenly levels you out and goes, "Oh, do you know what? You know, today's not a great day now." Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. You have a horse breakdown, or another owner rings up, you know, beforehand saying they're taking their horse away. And um, I suppose it it teaches you, yeah, to try and be pretty level-headed if you can. Are you enjoying it? I love it, yeah, I love it. I love going out, with the, I love being on the horses, I love going out, I love, um, I love the satisfaction of a horse trained well. Yeah. Um, you know, I love seeing them train in the mornings like that and seeing them improve each day. I love buying a young horse at the sales and breaking it in here and trying to get it going and, and um, Putting your money where your mouth is and saying, look, saying to Sonona, I think you should buy this horse, and it working out well. It's, you know, it's. I suppose it's the it's the satisfaction of it all. It's a game, isn't it? And we just want to win the game, and um, it's a great lifestyle, great way of life. We're really, really lucky. It has been a very. It's not. I mean, it's been pouring with rain, <laughs> but it's been a really nice morning. Oh, thanks, Tom. It's been great no, to see great. you. It's great. It's uh, it's been long overdue as well. Uh, no, it's been good fun. Yeah, it has been pouring. Man, what would you expect in October? It's, it's, we had quite a good summer, really, on the whole, didn't we? Exactly. Um, thanks for having us, mate. Uh, no, mate, any time. Any time. Are you back home now? Um, no, actually, no, we're going to go and do something else. Oh, cool. Well, I'll make use of it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when in Rome. <laughs> that was great, mate. Thank you. Not at all. <laughs>